Achani kupende mpenzi wo yo 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 Achani kuhisi ndani ndani chatu kwenye maji kidogo ndio tupigie shughuli bana Achani kuhisi ndani ndani Ishike mkononi twende mbali kwetu ngao mbali vile ninavyoona vile ninavyohisi Eh mzee hivi ni kali bana lazima eh lazima ingi lazima ingi rudi bana uniform ni fire pe kofia sio ni mzee sijanyoa naona napiga hii kofia tukidisipia mwisho wa sasa what's up fam what up people how you doing how you feeling eh 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 mzee nimewa hata ingine mbaya sana design ya very i'm so sorry I've been away for like a whole month now. I think it's 4 or 5 weeks now. And I'm so sorry. Uh these things came up uh, my schedule changed and uh, so many things happened. Not really so many, but like largely there was a huge shift in how I was operating and how I was doing my stuff. Yeah, so kinda kidogo YouTube uh, since bado pesa ijaanza kuingia hapa YouTube. Lazima tungeenda kutafuta pesa mali pengine ndio we do this. But no worries man I'm back your boy is back was a eh, eh, it's been long I've missed you how have you been man how what have you been watching since I was away I know you missed me man eh. tell me what have you been up to how's covid how's the new normal to you I know the last time we were here we were lockdowns or partial lockdowns whatever that means and now I think things have opened up people have gone back to work I don't know how you doing how you feeling was it talk to me talk to me it's been long man i've missed you people hey you don't know how good i feel at a, i think i'm treating this at around 10 you see cool. people are asleep or somewhere doing their own things and yeah, man, that's how hard it's become for me shooting during the day because they are mashukuri mashukuri Ish, mashukuri mashuguli na majukumu but i'm back then what's up what's up good people welcome to another episode of my channel i go by the name d major kenya aka the scientist and if you're new here first things first wake a subscription pale pinya yo kengele wacha ilie kila siku nikiangusha vitu moto moto inalia pale maze yeah maze i know there are so many of you who are here as well now just pick a subscription by the way so just kindly do do the needful maze we, we still have our target to hit 500 subscribers corona is not yet done so we still have time to hit those 1000 subscribers or even 500 to begin with eh? Yeah man and hey I'm back with yet another fire story. Eh hey, hey, hey. but before that Buddha acha acha nikunywa maji I've had a long day so I've been on set talking directing so kidogo sauti ina shida so Tabidi tabidi tukunywa maji kidogo. What do you think about my cup? This was a gift by the way from a one and only man. I see you See you, Madam T. Love you, man. Hey, Maze. I think since then, everything that I drink other than tea has to come from this cup. Or rather, I have to put it and drink it from this cup. Hey, Maze. I hope you're keeping safe. I hope you're sanitizing. I hope you're doing all the one, two, threes for Corona. Maze, just keep safe. The numbers are soaring day in, day out. Maze, we are hitting a thousand a day. Or almost there and I don't know when this thing will end. It's tough out here, Maze. Please kindly wear your mask, keep your social distancing, stay home if you can. If you have to go out, carry your sanitizers, make sure you're washing anywhere you come across water and soap. Just do what you gotta do to keep yourself safe and out of this corona and let's just end this. But anyway. When you see this uniform, just know it's another high school story, another fire one. Cause, and if you're new here, I've been doing this series for, I think, the whole of this corona time. So basically, I've been telling stories uh, about my high school and there are so many. I still have, I think, like 10 more stories. And as days goes by, I just remember more and more stories. My high school was pretty much eventful and so loud, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, so I don't know. So why I've put on this uniform is because I want to talk about my 
first day in high school i mean we're on the 10th video i think the 9th or 8th video somewhere there and we have not talked about how this whole thing started and how we came about to go to this school man kangaroo school and also just how it was just <laughs> going to that school so i'll just give you a story of my first day in high school so it's typical when once we are done with class eight uh, you the my results is not come they just check out and uh kamakawa what one and goja pale my letters i don't know what happens these days but then you'd wait for some guys to just go sit somewhere and decide with your marks you need to go to this particular school and someone else goes to that school so you just sit i think for a month or two or even three let's say results would come out in december and then you had to wait all the way up to like fair book you get your letter you go do your shopping so your boy here stayed for like a whole month without getting the letter so it was towards i think the end of january that's when i got my letter it was to some shag models school there for those who don't know what shag models means it just means a school in uh, <laughs> kobundu just up country let me so to speak actually we used to pass it not necessarily pass it but it's along the way while we are going to our shags which is up there in gatanga those t zones almost about there so it was called i can't what was the name of that school i think yashuki or something hey so my folks were like no 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 uyu kijana hawezi kuwa na max mingi hivi alafu aende shule ime convert hiyo ikakuwa asijui boarding school juzi tu ah no 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 not our son so i had to wait uh, i think my folks had to put up some a few calls not that they know people but just ask through and see yo our, our kid had good marks and can can we get a school yeah so it was being tossed around as another school some other school there i don't know me then i didn't know some so many of high schools plus i only knew central high schools which are usually on high demand in kenya so it's pretty hard to get a space uh, to be admitted in form one so to speak so one day me i was just chilling actually those people had reported like three weeks before or rather i was still reporting but it was past three weeks since the first lot started going to high school so we used to chill with my boy who also didn't have a school so we'd go shoot pool ride bicycles and just look for friends who haven't gone to school so by by the third week almost everyone had go even everyone so it was just us two so this day i come back home uh, i find my mom has come back it's like hey so our friend has just called he has a letter to kangaroo school eh it was like kangaroo school eh well i've never had such a school eh eh so i was like eh and where is he in embu it's like what embu but then me I'm, i'm always up for adventure for anything so it was like embu eh embu so i check okay, there was not internet but like roughly two hours from from our place so me i was like ah cool embu no problem tunaenda huko So I think a week no it was on that let's say four or five days later we we go we do our shopping I get my box uh, they had I think the, the, the friend sent the letter the following day so we were to report to you the hockey stick uh, a full ream of printing papers hey, that's cool I don't know why why a Kenyan high school do, why do they do these things I mean <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> they they foot <laughs> the school's budget using for months so i think i reported with a full rim of full scraps and printing papers so i knew the school had sub- supplied the school with a full rim 500 sheets <laughs> of printing papers so i was sort of till for four the exams i'm going to do <laughs> anyway that's a story for an idea yeah so the usual thing we go shopping shoes palette afis was the in thing so you know what and then uniform obviously i think by that our school would give out uniform so we would just report and pay and then you'll be given uniform yeah so basically pretty basic stuff sabuni sjunini was not bougie so i had not known coco and blue band and stuff so yeah and then i was to report on a tuesday I very much remember it was february i think 10th 20 or 8 or 9 there I can't remember the year i think or 9 or 8 anyway nonetheless so i remember on that tuesday morning so i had not done my 
uh, medical examination it, it it's basically you have to have a medical examination so but it's not that hard forgotten or we are last meaning people it's just we knew the doctor or whatever who does that those things so it was just go pick them up and Kenya, they don't do any examination. They just ask you, do you have a problem? Can you see properly? What's your height? What's your weight? And you're done. Kenyans. So, Tuesday, around 8, I, I just passed by the hospital. Nini, nini. Let me tell you, us, we are so chilled. So, at his Jukura Ukasa Moja, plus we are the last people. So, we don't expect to find a queue or something. Yeah, so, CCL go to the hospital pick my certificate come home it's good food for the last time because my my big brothers were in high school already some had even one and finished but the other one was there so it's like oh you'll start eating the dairy which is horrible it's doing what so you better eat well it's your last day i told my big brother was in campo so he came to take me around 11 we enter our old car <laughs> it was kyp i don't I still see that car, whoever bought it still owns it actually. It was KYP 239. I'll never forget that car. I, I actually learned how to drive in that car. So CCR we just go. So me, I'm, I'm on an adventure because I've never been to Embu. I've never even been to those sites, Dreamware or Kirinyaga. So you're just driving. Typical of my folks. This is telling me, oh, that's Dreamware. When you reach Embu town, yeah? Same story, my dad has like a million friends all over the country and elsewhere. So I have another two friends here. So let's say hi. Tukaingia maali, uko tukapoa soda, sijui na nini, 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 tukapoa soda, nini. Typically, you know, we are Africans, we do these things. Where when you have visitors, a conversation, lazima mkunyo kachai, you have some tea, some snacks somewhere here, here and there. Yeah, so cup of soda and then still we were not done with the friends so we went to another friend lucky we had to go butter so we did fine so he was like ah let's first go drop you to school and then when we come back we'll say hi to him <laughs> by this time it's around three so we reach this the esteemed so i don't know i can't remember my first impression of the school it was huge actually so like ah looks a good school but then the gate was so tiny i was like i oh. but now the gate is so dope yeah anyway in a cartoon perhaps some some other place but then but then what what struck me first it had like really nice tarmacs and then you could see the field i think the order it was very much like very well done i think whoever did the school did some good good stuff in planning so i can remember seeing oh those are the toilets the color and then it's, it's an old school so it had that vintage feel eh? and then i think there was a hall there that was dilapidated an old hall which later was renovated to a very nice hall okay, not really nice but just a hall a habitable hall so to speak yeah so so i was just taking years like ah looks cool but then around that time people are in class but it was towards the end of the day so i think the last last session yeah so we passed by the watchman straight to the administration block so i get there obvious it's been three weeks since people reported so obvious you know, they don't expect anyone or boy but if at all they expect you'll go via the secretary it's not like the first day when they are expecting everyone so i go via the secretary i'm told ah you can go there so you pass by the bazaar give you check or something with your paid fees or you first show your letter just typical to admission so my first person i think we had a conversation was the boarding master there were two there was this cool guy mr nganga remember him from from my uh, we actually became good friends because he later became my drama teacher and he was our french teacher as well that's a story i did french not as a not 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 as a uh, as a as a subject <laughs> but just a tool for me to go to funkies <laughs> funkies is just functions <laughs> for all those who don't know funk what funkies means yeah so and then the other one who's like the body master was like i think the assistant it was called mr kimani some dark shot stout guy hey, 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 hey. 
He had very weird eyes, but he was so funny and he taught he taught biology and he taught biology with so much vigor and so much enthusiasm. Like I would enjoy her bio, his biology classes. He never taught us anywhere, but I would listen to him teach other classes. I would be like, man, this guy is so dope. And then the good thing about him, hey, I'll go, he, he would beat us like <laughs> he was bad. Like Miki Kutana Vibal, Kona Kuingia Wo, but the good thing, he had no grudge, even if like he has found you, you know, on a mistake in the morning. He won't care in the evening, you're good friends. This is just a cool guy, just a, some good fresh. And some nice guy. So we get there. The only thing they asked for was the hockey stick. <laughs> in my two rims of fools cups and papers. That's all they asked. Then I was told the store is somewhere at that end. You just go find out where it is and get your uniform. So we get there. There's no uniform. So I'm told you have to stay with your clothes. And then my folks are told, so you don't go with the clothes, Mwache, so that he has something to even cover, I mean, to, to keep him warm and stuff. So I just have my box. My bro is helping me carry. And then I find some other two, three guys who had just arrived. And we kind of became friends or just talking. I even forgot we had, I was with my folks together. So they just came and told me, ah, you guy, you even like, I think you're home now. So as we can go, you just sort yourself. Uh, Midtown was, I think, that Friday <laughs> or the following week. I can't remember. So it was like, ah, you, you'll find your way home. Just see what people, see the Matatus people are using. And you'll find your way home once you get to town i'm sure you would know how to go home so i was like ah cool man cheers i didn't have even homesick because i'd stayed home for so long so i was so happy to start this journey yeah so we are there just chilling and then the storekeeper let me tell you about this storekeeper she was our storekeeper our matron our everything typical uh guys cool we don't have a tsg a matron for this tsg she was, she was even the caterer, she was everything. She was the owner of the canteen, she was called Rose. Very huge. She was very huge and very talkative. And she had, hey, she had no chills by the way, let me tell you. But she was fun. Like if you interacted with her on like a social base, it was fun. But when it comes to business, Eh, 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 eh. she would beat the hell out of you if you don't make your bed but she was fun she, was, she comes she says i don't go uh the uniform is actually here let's just uh, ask, uh what do you call it? receive it and then once we're done with the paperwork we'll give you because you guys are still here so luckily i was i got this uni no this sweater i was given in form three but some other old one I was given so that's how i ended up so my folks had not left i think so i just gave them my home clothes and i jumped into my so-called uniform that i was to to be for to be my my clad for the next four years so by then also classes uh, were done so they called the prefect to my house or dormitory it was gi it's called gi but in full it's geshoho so the dormitories were named after, after I think famous towns. So there was Embu, Mwea, Mere, I can't remember, Gishogu. So I was taken to Gishogu and was given a yellow t-shirt because every house had its own color of t-shirt. So I get there, it was weird. I found it clingy, but I was like, I don't have much option. I don't know what I expected in here. At least we had cubicles. So my first problem, I didn't get a bed because I came late, I'd come late. So I go on a vitanda. So I was told to squeeze to some other guy. I can't remember. No, I can't remember, but I forgot his name. I can't remember him. And then, so there were form two sleeping in the lower bed and then the upper bed form one. So we shared with this guy. And the form twos, yeah, I still remember them. One of them is my friend. The other, I don't know where he went. But I can't remember him if I see him. Yeah, so that, that, that was more like it. So I just placed my box somewhere. And then since it was games time, I just decided, ah, let me go explore. You know, I'm an explorer. So the, 
uh, the boarding teacher had told me you report to 1S. So 1S was to be my class. <coughs> and so, so yeah, and it was games time. So I just walked. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you a story, Kwanza. 